Here on this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over how to use a pressurized mixing tank or easy flow for cannabis plant production. Ever wonder how to use a pressurized mixing tank or easy flow for cannabis plant production? This is the video for you. So this is what one typical setup looks like. We're going to go into some of the details here in this video. So first off, we have to understand the system parts. <laughs> Typically, this system easily attaches to a faucet hose, which is why it became so popular. It's very easy to hook up with essentially part that allows for some water to divert into the tank. You see here uh, that contains the fertilizer can slowly be fed into the mainline hose or irrigation system. So basically, it's pumping water in, pressurizing the tank, forcing a little bit out that has fertilizer and irrigation water and putting it into the irrigation hose. So a very simple concept. How does it operate? Well, the basic method is that the mixing tank uh, injector operates at the discharge line on a pressurized differential concept. So we do have some pressure difference, pressure coming in, pressure coming out, and kind of the device in the middle there. So the water is diverted from the main flow, mixed with the fertilizer, and then injected or drawn back into the main system. So it kind of comes in, gets through, mixed around, and then put back into the system. A measured amount of fertilizer required for one injection is placed into the cylinder. The flow back into the main line is often controlled by a metering device installed at the inlet side of the injector. To operate again, as described previously, there must be pressure difference in the injector line and inlet and outlet. So there is that pressure uh, differential that is needed in the valve there. Now there are some fittings that should take care of this, but keep in mind in low pressure systems, this may not be the best option for you. So there's a visualization of the process, which is why some growers like it. Uh, the connection uh, here of the um, injector, uh, the concentration, I should say, of the injector fertilizer does change as the chemical becomes diluted as water enters the tank. So think of it this way, showing over a long period of time, this is a very large tank, we have kind of a solid amount of fertilizer over time. We're using up more and more and more of that fertilizer. We're getting more and more diluted to the point we essentially just have pure water, uh, ir irrigation water left in the tank. At this point, we'd go through and we'd change that and then we'd go through and we'd refill it and repeat the same process again. So the key points to remember are that only install uh, in an on-off pressure applications where the system's only under pressure when in use. You do not want to have this tank under constant pressure. You want to have a valve before it so when the valve turns off, the pressure is alleviated from the tank. Also, this will prevent the chance of fertilizer backfeeding as well if you have that kind of additional device in line. Do not use if there's over 50 PSI or pounds per square inch as this can damage the system or some of the components of the system. Do not let this uh, tank freeze because water expands when it freezes and it can damage the tank or the upper portion, the internal workings as well. Now the feed rate, you'll notice some of these do have a listed feed rate. So there are different flow rates which can change the ratio of irrigation water to fertilizer. While this is a range, since it is not exact, it does provide grower an approximation of the dilution rates for different fertilizers. And see we have a slow, uh, and then we have a number one setting here, and it tells you the capacity, this is a 0.75 or 3 quarter gallon tank, in gallons to empty. At the slow setting, it'll take about 750 gallons to empty the tank. And in a faster setting, it would only take 375. So growers can make this adjustment for the speed or rate that they want to add their fertilizer. Now the general fertilizer application rate example here, just to provide you with uh, some numbers so you can see how well uh, you can apply it to your own situation. There will be some adjustments made, but this can provide just a good starting point. Growers will often add food dye to the fertilizer to be able to see the dilution and consumption visually and allow them to further and quickly dial in their rates. Here, if we're applying 3.5 pounds of triple 20 to 1,000 square feet per week, once you have fruit set, apply 5 pounds per 1,000 feet of 16,326 with calcium. So if you're growing tomatoes, peppers, you should spray them weekly with calcium uh, chelate at a rate of one uh, at a rate of two ounces per thousand square feet. This is what the manufacturers recommend there. So you could also search uh, them up when you purchase one, look at the important documentation uh, because the one that you purchased will, might have slightly different recommendations. As we just see here, some are for very small, some for very large operations. We also have different tank sizes, so keep that in mind. 
However, they all work on the same really basic concept where if you have your faucet, you add that little fitting there, you attach your hose to the end of the fitting, this little um, uh, op op apparatus <laughs> attaches to the tank, and that tank then can go through and inject the fertilizer here. Keeping in mind it's not under constant pressure, don't let it freeze, and this can be an effective way to very easily uh, add fertilizer to your irrigation water, and your plants will thank you.